Hello YouTube fan. this is the autopilot for the PT-154B-2. Someone asked me to show how to do, uh, how to make the autopilot work, well here it is. Now, you have six switches on the left top part of the screen, which are part of the autopilot. Um, I mean nine. And they're all supposed to be in the up position or on position. Also, you have to switch this button right here on, which is up also. And then you can close the cover. With the right click, you close covers, open covers, and so on. All right, now I go to the front panel, and I have to set up what they call the gyro, which is the directional uh, of where the airplane is facing, north, south, east, west, Okay, down here as you can see there's a little airplane. You have to click that in the center. Just click it, left click. And everything will turn into numbers. This is so you can see that all the numbers must be the same when you set up the gyro, which is the direction, which is up here. So, this button right here says MK and AK will be the first one. But before that, I'm going to set up the direction of north which is what I need with this button here we'll go left and right and so on I already know that the number for north on this airport is 18 how do I know that you you hit shift Z and on the screen on the top of the screen you'll see a red bar telling you the location of the airport and you're looking for north it will say N and, and a number here it says N18 and that's what I'm looking for N18 will be the location of the airport and the way the airplane is facing, which is 18 degrees. Alright, so uh, you go back here to the gyro section and you adjust this to 18. And you'll see it down here, a number appears, so you can see what you're doing uh, in the system. Okay, now we go back to the switch where I was saying MK on one side, which is the left, and AK on the right. You have to click on the left side MK so the switch goes to the MK part and then you have this switch over here which is OCH on the top and KOHTP at the bottom. You want it to be OCH so you click on the top and it should be on the top. Then you have this button here which is a hold button. Okay, it says uh, like something con and AC. This is all Russian, so and you just hold that down, and you will see at the bottom of the screen as you as you hold the button down, the numbers change. So you hold it down, and as you can see, the button the numbers are changing and the arrow is moving until it stops where I want it to be, which is 18, which will be uh, the way this is facing the aircraft is facing. They reached that uh, direction, which the aircraft in, in this direction is about east. So that, that part is set. So now you got to set the second location. So you go to this button, which is OCH, and just click down on it. And now it's in the other direction. So now you do the same thing, hold the button down, and you can see the numbers changing on the screen and you can see a little arrow moving which is aligning it's aligning these two together alright so now when it finishes aligning these two get together now you go up here again and click on the center to center that right there and click this one for OCH and then again hold the button down and now it will align the rest of the numbers and they all should match. They should all be the same. You just gotta wait, be patient. Okay? It's there. It's all set. All the numbers match. You can click on it again so you can see the small airplane on there. And now you can hit these two switches are for the power of the gyro. Or the directional system, whatever you want to call it. And now that's all set up for the autopilot so now I'm gonna go down here 
where the autopilot is so just before I continue with the power on these are all the switches that you need for making the autopilot work this will go um, you have the pitch and you have the angle of turning and you need both of them on in order to get the aircraft to go up down sideways and of course you have to have the main um, button that will turn the autopilot on which is this one right here now in order to get the autopilot to work properly you have to have uh, of course the power to it and the power button is here which I turned off now when I turn it on it's set up you know uh, and, uh, set up uh, to uh, have power to it so and I have these buttons here which need to be turned on in order to get the other pilot to work I keep hitting right click there so you have power now so you can see this power here and so on now in order to get it to work you have to switch all these switches on and this one too now there's one thing that you gotta remember this is the test button up here in the panel which you have to do every time in order to get the autopilot to work properly for some reason you know it won't work properly unless you do this first so as soon as that's all set the autopilot is working. Now you can shut it off by turning these switches off again. That's how you turn it off. Now remember if you make a mistake just turn the power off on the autopilot and just start all over again and after you have all this set up you can take off. That's basically it. It's a very uh, you know little bit complex but as soon as you know where to go what switches to push it works fine and uh, you know just go flying so I hope this helps and I hope you have fun with it Thank uh, one more thing that I almost forgot now in order to activate the uh, autopilot after you're in the air you have to hit this switch right here and these will change uh, to uh, the autopilot C tag that's what it spells seems to be the autopilot now if if you want to disconnect it you have to hit these two for pitch and turning which will shut it off again and these will turn into manual uh, um, controlling the aircraft so and then you can click on them again so you can activate by hitting this button again the H will hold the altitude whatever altitude you have with 5,000 10,000 feet it will hold it in that position now one thing is that uh, when the aircraft is turning it's like a real aircraft so you have to make sure you have enough speed when you're turning and the turn should be slowly not uh, you know very tight the V is for the airspeed if you want to keep the airspeed up the aircraft will adjust its angle according to the speed and, and the M is the, it's almost the same thing as the speed as the Mach number whatever the Mac on the uh, speed is but I'm just using altitude because that's the most that uh, people use you want to keep a certain altitude and you can adjust the heading by using this uh, right here and if you want to increase the altitude when as soon as you hit this the this will shut off so then you can control the pitch and it will go either further up or down depending on what you want and you gotta be careful with the airspeed. If it goes to, you know, if you're going too fast, you're gonna you're gonna hear an, an alarm. And if you go too slow, you'll hear another alarm. So you know the difference. So that's how it will work if you use the autopilot. I hope this helps. Thanks.